Hello! Hey YouTube! Can you believe we have been doing cringy videos for a year now? <gasps> Crazy! This quick video is gonna mostly be about my experience with YouTube over the past year and the videos that I've posted within that year. Mostly judging myself. It's been fun so far. I actually really like YouTube. I knew my first video wasn't gonna be the best because nobody's first video is their best. But looking back at my first video... <coughs> oh my. My first video is a whole new level of cringe that I don't even know if I can personally top. Even I'm impressed. For those of you who haven't seen it, don't. But just for the reference, I sat in this very spot 12 months ago for 12 minutes eating cereal. In this robe, yes. This is the attire I decided to choose for my first YouTube video. I also had a beanie, but that beanie is in the wash right now. And I basically just rambled on for a little while about what my channel would be about. It could have been worse. I think. It was sort of embarrassing, but it was a good start because my whole channel is kind of embarrassing and I was just being myself and all that jazz. <laughs> Over the year, I've posted some more vulnerable things, which a lot of you have responded very sweetly to and made me smile. And I've also posted a variety of different silly stuff and story times and a couple hair and makeup things too. But we are moving up in the world. 12 months later and now we have some more nutritious snacks. For my channel, I definitely want to continue to do those kinds of videos and incorporate some nostalgic sound effects and things like that to get our emotions all going. <laughs> Jesus. I also did a lot of that in my first YouTube video and I'm still doing that a lot. I just now edited it out, which is much smarter. My goal for my YouTube channel when I first started was to get a thousand subscribers in a year. That basically happened. I'm hoping by the end of this month, maybe in the next two weeks or so, we can get up to a thousand. We are almost there. So, thank you. I just realized my necklace isn't out. This matches my aesthetic right now. This needs to be here for this video. We are all set. Let's keep going. My goal when I first started my YouTube channel was to get three uploads on my channel a week. And that did not happen at all. Not even a little, not even one week worth. Wow, I really, I really messed that goal up. I realized as a theme in my life, I am very compulsive with things because I have obsessive compulsive disorder and it takes me forever to get things the way I want them to. I know my editing isn't perfect, but definitely over the year I think it's improved and it takes me a long time to get it the way I want it to because I have to like get it by the right second. Like I like to count things in certain ways and my numbers have to align up. So I like to get the seconds to a certain amount like in between my frames. So that is something that takes a lot of time and also I just take forever at everything. Side note, I've also been really depressed. So motivation has been a little bit shy, but we're working on this. But now that I know myself more and I've experienced the troubles of not being able to come up with ideas and not being able to get stuff done and edited and filmed in time to upload three times a week, I'm going to set a more attainable goal for two times a week. And instead of getting myself all upset over not having uploads three times a week, I'm going to reward myself for getting up two times a week. Cause sometimes I'd even only get one a week or none. So this could be good. We're gonna really work for two uploads a week. All right. My YouTube channel isn't growing. It's just not. It's growing very slowly. It's kind of growing. It's slowly, slowly getting some more friends. But my lack of uploads is probably the reason that this is happening. Aside from the fact that I kind of haven't narrowed in on a specific niche besides nostalgic kids who are cringy and kind of emo. Something that's a whole nother broader issue. But one issue specifically that I can address right now immediately without thinking too much is uploading more frequently. We're off to a good start. I filmed a video before this video. I did, and that'll be out. But this one's gonna be uploaded first. And then I'm gonna film another video after this. That's three videos filmed and edited eventually. 
So that means that I will have three uploads coming rapid fire, like every three days, hopefully. We will see. I was kind of discouraged because I know I've been working really hard at my filming, editing, tagging, and optimizing for searching of these videos that I've been making. So I was kind of discouraged, especially because I really do enjoy making these videos. I do. But I'm not gonna let the fact that my videos don't get many views stop me from making them. Also, I'd like to add that the little family that I do have of regular viewers that come on here and support me mean the absolute world to me. And you guys are the reason that I am keeping my channel and going to try harder for this next upcoming year to grow my channel and post more regularly and all that good stuff. So just realize that, pat yourself on the back here. Much love to you from me. Um, I'm not quite at the point where I can monetize yet, but I'm actually not that far. Believe it or not, I'm actually not that far. I'm only like a little ways away. It's a little tiny bit. And once that happens, there's gonna be a slew of problems like copyright claims and stuff. And I'm gonna have to, ch I'm gonna have to do a lot of stuff, aren't I? Yep. Well, we will figure that out together. If you would like to support your local emo kid, please do me the favor and share my videos or tell your friends about my channel because that helps me grow immensely. You can share them on Facebook, the Twitter, in your little group chats. I know you have them. There's no shame. I've got them too. But please share my video in one of those or all of them. If you do not mind, please spare me the like, subscribe, and turn on post notifications for more nostalgically driven content. Also, please leave me suggestions for videos in the future to make. That seriously helps me so much because sometimes I find myself very uninspired and uncreative and I need a little push. So the suggestions kind of do that for me because one, it reminds me that I have people that want to see my videos and two, it gives me something to actually do in those videos. You can either leave your suggestions in the comments or on any direct messaging service on any social media platform. I have all of my links to my social media accounts on the description underneath all of my videos so you can see them wherever it is that you may wander on my channel. Also feel free to just say hi sometime because I love to hear from you. It might take me a little bit of time to get back to you, but I will get back to you. And lastly, don't judge people, just hug people, stay cringy for life, love you, bye.